Lewis, four-time world champion, amazing scenes at the factory when you went back there uh, to celebrate your third title with that team. What's made this season special? Uh, I think every single individual in the team, uh, just their, their commitment has, has never wavered. You know, they've been um, ruthless in, in terms of how hard they've worked. Um, I think this year being that we're fighting, we were fighting Ferrari, I think just excited everyone um, and uh, encouraged everyone to another level. It's been a great journey with them. And Sebastian, your side of the mood at Maranello, have you and Ferrari, do you believe, improved enough and learned enough during 2017 to believe that you can go one better and become world champions next year? I think the step that we've done this year was incredible. Uh, the way you know the team has uh, come out with a competitive car in the beginning, the way we have improved both uh, chassis, engine, uh, on all fronts, I think um, has been outstanding. Obviously, uh, everybody will be pushing very hard over winter, and uh, yeah, it all starts again, um, you know, next year. So let's see. To the two of you, then, it's been a, a close duel between you for the World Championship this year. Can you pick out one particular highlight? whether it may be a, a particular battle or just a highlight of your duel this year. Should we start with Baku? Baku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's start there. Break Baku. the ice. Baku was a good well, one. He didn't do much. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't think we need to touch on that again. Um, uh, but I think it's been a good season. It's been, uh, you know, close. Um, there needs to be more, more races. More like, wheel to wheel like would be nice. Barcelona kind of thing there needs to be more races like that, I would I say. Yeah, that was a bit too straightforward for you to pass. But uh, yeah, it always depends which, uh, which side you're looking from. But yeah. for sure, you know, when you're chasing each other down, then that's, that's really intense and really nice. I think it's been a, a fun year, obviously, you know, when you're racing that close and with hardly any mistakes. I think it's fair to say also that this year, Lewis probably, Lewis probably made less mistakes. So um, in the end, he was just a better man and deserved to win. It was great to have those close battles. I think Spa was, was awesome. And, you know, to be fighting a four-time world champion from you respect and you expect nothing but the best from them and no mistakes. So um, when you have races like Spa where it's really down to one of you making the smallest mistakes and none of us did, um, I'm looking forward to many more of those races, hopefully, in the future. Great. So we all. Uh, Daniel, I'm sure you guys want to get in on the act as well. What are you doing behind the scenes to make sure that it starts strong and that you're right in the thick of this championship battle from the get-go in Melbourne next year? I think, yeah, for me, just to um, assess the year, obviously, once it's all settled, um, and then just try and understand what I could have improved and then make, make those improvements. I'm sure there's on-track stuff, but also off-track. Obviously, you give every year a, a good crack, but um, yeah, just give next year a proper crack. Uh, and, you know, I mean, between us all, we've got eight world titles, so it's pretty good. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, obviously we, we want nine, so uh, <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's cool. I, I've been uh, I've been pretty pleased with the year, but uh, I, I've still got some improvements to make, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, extracting a bit more out of myself. Question for all three: what, what do you consider the best overtake of the season, and can you explain why? Daniel, what's your personal best overtake of the year? It wasn't, isn't it? Uh, too many to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the attempts on Valtteri were fun in Austin. Uh, Kimi in Monza in Turn 1, that was, that was from downtown, so that was pretty fun. And Baku was a deciding one, you know, so it's a few. <coughs> Lewis. I, I admit I have a very bad memory, so I, I don't really remember much past... Uh, not much to before, before Austin. Didn't have to pass that many people this year. <laughs> I passed you a couple of times, so that was enough. <laughs> so those are the, those are the most exciting ones. Seb, how's your memory? Uh, I don't know. I'm th thanks to that Daniel for mentioning to you in China. <laughs> that was no, actually quite good. That was no, I didn't. I, sort of, I nearly forgot that. But I was oh, I was right. about to say uh, Valtteri in uh, Barcelona. <laughs> thanks for that. I didn't remember. I thought that's what you were going to say. No. Consider the RB14 will be a winning car, you can hunt for the championship. How do you cope with Max and do you fear the internal relations in the team then? I mean, it'd be nice to keep him on my birthday list, uh, so we'll see. But uh, I mean, it's, we said at the start of this year, like it would be a good problem to have, you know, if, if we're both fighting at the front um, and having some battles and, you know, if it's ultimately deciding a world title, I think we'll uh, happily 
you know, run, run with that challenge. But um, he certainly improved, and I think next year it's going to be a lot of fun. So looking forward to that. In a few weeks, you will receive uh, your champion award. Can you imagine uh, several you other awards? For example, <laughs> like an award for a fair play. Fair play goes to you. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Um, I think there's a lot of awards. Um, I should get move of the year, personality of the year, and <laughs> and what was the what was the last one? Uh, fair play, uh, fair play, maybe not, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> those, but those, two, but those two, or man of the those those two for for Baku for sure. I, I don't think we need like a good sportsman or anything like that. Um, I think there's one, one award that all of us won, and that's a world title. The rest doesn't matter. Yeah. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Good luck in this weekend's Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Coming up uh, in part two of this press conference, we will have Fernando Alonso of McLaren, Valtteri Bottas of Mercedes, and Max Verstappen from Red Bull. Uh, Fernando, let's begin with you. It's the final race with Honda engines for McLaren. Next year, of course, with Renault. Does that feel like a kind of a homecoming? For you, I think it's it's a good good timing now uh, to to change. Uh, we, oh, I personally had a lot of um, expectations for the McLaren Honda project. Probably is, that was probably the reason why I, I changed from Ferrari because the McLaren Honda it was very attractive uh, partnership after the success they had in the past, etc. We didn't achieve the results we wanted in the last three years. We didn't perform uh, as, as we expect. So I think now it's time to, to change for McLaren and um, join forces with uh, Renault. Uh, I'm quite optimistic, you know, seeing what Red Bull is doing um, right now with the Renault power unit. Overall, you fight for podiums, you fight for race wins, and that's uh, a very different picture of what we have right now in, in McLaren. At your question of Renault, yeah, feeling at home a little bit, you know, coming back to um, to what uh, I consider my, my friends and my, my second family, so that will be great, so zero doubt. Max, uh, two wins and you're the top scorer in the last five races with 90 points, eight more than Lewis Hamilton scored, and a new contract in the bag. Is this feeling like the way Formula One should be for you? Uh, not fully, because I'm not fighting for the championship. <laughs> but it's been positive the last few races. I think yeah, Brazil maybe was not perfect, but I think we know the reasons for that as well. You know, when you, you lose performance from, from the engine as well to, to keep things alive. But uh, hopefully for this weekend, you know, we can, we can change that. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be a bit closer again. Valtteri, what could be your best achievement and your best lessons in 2017? Well, for sure, the, for me, the best um, achievement, of course, my first win. You know, it took for me more than 80 races in Formula One to achieve it. So something really unique, something very special that you will remember always. Can't wait for the future. So this is the closing chapter for McLaren and Honda. And amid many difficulties, you had certainly some positives. So what is your best memory of these past three years? I think what I take from, from the last three years is the commitment, is the uh, spirit in the team that has been uh, amazing. You know, I, I did have some um, highs and lows in, in my career with different teams, with different performance, but uh, uh, it was the first time that with the kind of performance we had on Sundays, the team was uh, fully committed, you know, for the next race and the next step and uh, the next uh, aero update. And, you know, it was not a single person giving up, you know, with the, with the performance we had. So that was definitely the, the thing I take in the last three years and the lesson that uh, I will keep for, for, um, for longer. Max, you had one uh, full season with Daniel. Uh, what influence has uh, Daniel have on you personally? Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's a great guy. I, uh, of course, you know, on track, you always try to, to beat each other. Uh, but off track, you know, we, we can have a great laugh. Um, I think we really respect each other. And to be honest, I've never really experienced uh, something like that in, in racing, to have such a good teammate, you know, to really have fun with. Um, so yeah, I hope we can be teammates for, for a long time.